my name is uh, Mark Wade and I'm serving at St Paul's Goose Green and St James with St Thomas uh, Paulstock uh, Park Transforming Wigan. I'm originally from Cornwall. Uh, I ended up in the north when I was working for a Christian theatre company called Rayma based in Manchester. And there I met my wife and uh, we got married uh, in Sunderland but then worked in Manchester when I uh, took over managing the theatre company that I was an actor for, which was uh, really fun. Uh, then I began to get the prompt of ordination, but I didn't really want to do that, so I decided to uh, become a youth worker. My calling process uh, Vic, uh, was a very, very long, long one. Uh, my dad's a vicar down in Cornwall, so when I first felt the call to ordination, the 16 year old in me screamed at me going, why on earth would you want to do that? And uh, I first uh, heard the call at a retreat centre, was sat on this swing, and I just felt God saying that he wanted me to explore um, sort of being in the Church of England as a vicar, and yet at that point I was not ready for that, and that was not my plan at that point. I was an actor, and the dream still was to be Doctor Who one day, uh, but um, as I continued to pray about it and uh, talk to people, uh, the prompts just kept getting bigger and bigger from people saying, oh yeah, I really think you, sh you should explore that. And so the Jonah and me had to stop running at one point, so uh, I decided the best way to sort of test this out would be to go and work for a church so I applied for a youth workers job uh, actually in York but then I realised the commute from Manchester to York for just three days would have been a bit insane and somehow my CV got passed on to someone in, in Haydock and uh, I got offered a job with, by not even applying for the job so I really felt God uh, in that, that job and then as I was working for as a youth worker I began to do a lot of uh, stuff with 20s to 30s men's ministry and uh, I think a significant change was uh, I set up a five-a-side uh, a club with sort of a men's ministry so ranging from like uh, I think our youngest player was 13 and our oldest was about 68 and it was some of the conversations on the side sidelines I just really felt uh, God prompting me going yeah actually I think uh, I could use, use you as a, a future vicar. Is there, is there anything you'd say to any young people that might be considering whether ordination might be for them? Have you got any advice? Uh, don't run away from it and talk to your youth leader, talk to uh, if you have a mentor. Pray and talk of my two uh, bits of advice and get involved if you're not uh, serving uh, like even helping with Sunday school or if there's an opportunity to uh, preach, uh, take up that. And I'm not academic and that's one of the things that really stopped me in my process thinking I'm not clever enough. And I got sent on a CPAS course by my vicar and uh, James Lawrence uh, went to me, what's stopping you to uh, actually um, applying for the next bit? And I said, I don't think I'm clever enough. And his simple words was, uh, God doesn't care about that, God wants to use you. So don't think that you're not good enough, God wants to use you, whatever your age. Okay, um, tell me a little bit about uh, where you'll be serving then in, in Wigan. Are, are there any things that you're really looking forward to getting stuck into? Brilliant. Um, well, to serve you curiously in Wigan at the moment is a really exciting time because uh, transforming Wigan is picking up a lot of pace. So. Um, uh, this week in my first week, um, our ch at the church at St Paul's just uh, planted a new worship community at the local primary school called Well Springs, and I'm really excited about these opportunities. Both churches have have got an initiative at both the primary schools, and the idea of not only uh, working with the children but um, working coming alongside parents, particularly families who maybe on a Sunday. Um, Going to church doesn't really work uh, for their routine with sport clubs and other uh, responsibilities. Uh, this is an opportunity to come and meet and explore who, who God is and what God might be 
uh, doing in their lives. So I'm really excited about that. And I think one of my passions are people on the edge of church. Uh, it's in my previous role, it's why I liked Five Aside, uh, chatting and working with guys who normally wouldn't walk into church but have really had big questions and I'm really interested in who God is and what uh, and how God changes lives.